want to know what algae are? We have to go back in time to the early life on Earth. Four billion years ago, the first forms of life emerged. These tiny cells were simple creatures with freely floating DNA. Later, one group of these started to use sunlight and carbon dioxide to produce carbohydrates and oxygen. This process is called photosynthesis. Two billion years ago, eukaryotes developed. These complex cells contain a nucleus to keep the DNA and have other specialized structures called organelles. This happened when a cell that had eaten another cell did not digest it but kept it inside to take on a specialist function. All plants, animals and fungi have eukaryotic cells. 1.2 billion years ago, this process happened again, with photosynthetic bacteria transforming into organelles that we call chloroplasts. The first algae were born. Soon individuals developed into larger bodies made of many cells. They are called seaweeds. This was long before the time of dinosaurs. Within the tree of life, algae don't belong to a single group, like plants, animals or fungi do. Their genetic composition and the way they look and function can differ a lot. There may be more than 70,000 different kinds of algae. They live in the oceans, in rivers, lakes and even on damp soil and rock surfaces. Most algae consist of single cells like for example diatoms, cocolithophores and dinoflagellates. Multicellular algae are called seaweeds. They are classically grouped into green, brown and red algae. Single-celled algae can be smaller than a red blood cell of a few micrometers wide. But they can also be very large. Glerpa taxifolia, for example, is just a single cell that can grow up to 30 centimeters long. Compared to microalgae, multicellular seaweeds are real giants. Some kelp species can grow up to 80 meters long. Many algae are very beautiful and are a source of inspiration for artists. They come in all shapes, sizes and colors. The algal microbiome Friends and Foes is a European innovative training network where PhD students from all over Europe are investigating the characteristics of different algae and their interactions with other organisms. For more information, please visit www.msc-alff.org.